How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay and there seems to be a growing consensus among people far smarter than me that a recession is coming. Inflation is already at a multi-decade high and may even continue to get worse. Supply chain shocks from the pandemic were already bad and now we can add to that disruption of agricultural commodities as well as oil and gas from the Russian invasion of Ukraine. And to make matters worse, the yield curve just inverted. That's right, the yield curve inverted. But on the other hand, there is a ton of pent up consumer demand stemming from the pandemic and the lockdowns. The travel industry is booming right now and the housing market continues to stay red hot even though mortgage rates are rapidly increasing. So is a recession coming or not? And you just happen to be in the right place because I can tell you a recession is coming and I can guarantee it. The thing is, I have no idea when it will happen or how long it'll last when it does happen. And neither does anyone else. Based on those factors I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we could go into recession next month or even later this year. Or maybe it'll be three years from now, or five years from now. No one really knows. But what I do know is a recession will happen at some point. Recessions, much like Thanos, are inevitable. I am inevitable. In fact, not only will I predict that there will be a recession, I'll predict there will be maybe one or two recessions within the next decade. There have been 13 recessions since the end of World War II. That's an average of about two per decade. But recessions don't run on a set schedule. Sometimes they happen quite close to each other, like in the early 1950s or the 1980s. Sometimes they don't happen for decades apart, like we saw from the 1990s till 2001. So what steps should we take and how should we prepare our finances to prepare for a recession? After all, if I'm a long-term investor and I'm going to be invested for the next 30 years or so, I can count on things getting pretty ugly by way of a recession at least six times in that time frame. Maybe it'll be a little more, maybe it'll be a little less if I'm lucky. But at least I have an expectation, I have a rough idea of what to expect. So the way you should be looking at it is, you're not preparing for THE recession, you're preparing for A recession. If I expect recessions and bear markets to happen, I won't be surprised when they inevitably come. I know they're just a normal part of this investing game we all chose to play. But since I'm not sure exactly when they'll come or how long they'll last when they arrive, I'm not gonna attempt to do too much about it. You see, when you attempt to play that game, trying to predict the market trends and adjust your portfolio accordingly, trading, timing, and buying and selling, that's the root of most investors' misery and a mistake in the first place. So I'm here to tell you, instead of changing your portfolio around because you think a recession is coming, you should instead focus on developing an investment plan that's strong enough to withstand a wide range of market scenarios. That means giving yourself a high margin of safety. Yeah, that means your investment mix should probably be slightly more conservative than you would consider ideal under perfect market conditions. And that also means having an ample emergency fund. Because recessions aren't just the stock market falling and the rest of the world remaining unicorns and rainbows, Recessions are usually accompanied by massive job cuts, high unemployment, and various other factors that will directly affect your finances. So having that high margin of safety in the name of your emergency fund will allow your investment portfolio to ride out the storm if a recession happens to hit you on more than one front at the same time. The last thing you want to happen is the stock market to fall 40%, you lose your job, and now you got to sell your stocks at their lows in order to pay your bills because you weren't prepared. 
So if you build your financial plan with the understanding that recessions are inevitable, they're just part of the game, and you choose your allocation of stocks and bonds and real estate and cryptocurrency and whatever else accordingly. Doing so will allow you to live your life without much worry about if and when the next recession hits. Because as Peter Lynch says, Far more money has been lost by investors preparing for and trying to anticipate corrections than has actually been lost in the corrections themselves. And if you want to know how investments actually perform during recessions, subscribe to the channel for my next video, which will be right up here when it posts, and we'll go over exactly that. If you want a video on how to shore up your emergency fund and give you that margin of safety for a recession, check out this video down here. Like this video you're currently watching to help spread it to more people. Thanks for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next one.